Well, the pond has gotten so low, I've had to put out this uh, water tank here, water them out of the well for a few days till we get that cleaned out. We got a lot to do today, check on those calves I've darted, and we're gonna get started on cleaning out that 100-year-old barn. So let's get to work. The little pepper calf we darted yesterday afternoon. She looks better this morning. I don't notice any coughing. Looks like she's just sucked, so hopefully everything's good. The little bull calf on the right there is the one I darted just a day or two before the heifer calf yesterday. So they both seem to be doing fine. The medicine really works good if you catch them in time. I'm missing some cows. I've counted them at least once. And it looks like about six are gone, and that's unusual for that many to be gone. So they're probably in the woods together. We'll go try to find them. I thought the cows might be that are missing or might be around the tiny house, but they don't seem to be over here either. But there's a lot more woods to look at. So. Had some down in the woods, and I counted them the second time. They're all here, so figured they would be if I just found them. These guys are gonna need another salt block in a day or two. goes hanging out by themselves. Today we're going to start the preparations that we have to go through in order to uh, sell calves here in about three weeks. Down here at the creek place I've got to set up a, a water supply for them when I capture them for probably seven to ten days before sale date here on this uh, land that has no pond or creek. So got to set up the uh, trough by the well house. this little short hose hooked up to the faucet here on the well house and I'll hook the other end of it to a float before I attach it to the water trough. It's easier to put on before you bring the trough around. I found out if I don't wire this hose to something solid, the calves will grab it, just playing with it, and pull it out of whack here. We're gonna get started cleaning this old barn out. Got a dumpster coming Monday, and we'll throw away a lot of stuff and keep what might be reused. As you look in this old barn down these uh, uh, hay mangers here, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but in all those one before slats, I can't see a knot anywhere. You can't get that kind of lumber anymore. We're starting on the big cleanup of the old barn, getting some stuff out, throwing a bunch of stuff away, straightening it up, We've got a full week's work ahead of us all throughout the barn. It is just one, but it's a long one. Lee, stay back. Lee, back. I know when I reached down there to pick up that uh, railroad rail, it scared the heck out of me. Eight pieces of railroad rails here. I have no idea what they're for. Probably gonna make a drag out of them or something. It's a load minus one snake. He looks to be about five feet long. While we're cleaning out the barn here, I've got a, a new base that I'm gonna put on uh, this feeder so I've got a spare ready to go whenever I need it. 
I don't really have the right tools to put this on easily, but since I'm down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do with what I've got. This is where a socket wrench would really come in handy, but I don't have one down here with me. I'm making do with a crescent wrench and a pair of vice grip pliers. Got to get some tools to work on the old barn as we're cleaning it out today. Some of the lumber that was stored in this old barn was not original oak. I'll save some of the better lumber and haul the rest to the burn pile. One side shed cleaned out, but we still got quite a mess to go. Horse stables, maybe? I don't see any stanchions for cows. And then we've got some spoke wheels in there. I don't know what they're for. Okay, we got the two sheds cleaned out. Gonna go take a break for lunch and come back and start on these little interior rooms. It's a mess. This door hasn't been moved in at least 20 years. That's how long I've owned it. Oh, wow. Well. Somebody's made a bolt bin out of an old can. Oh, if any of y'all have an idea of what year that might come off of, let me know. Been a long time since I've seen a real burlap bag. No telling how old that thing is. Got to be a hundred year old board there. Among the more unusual things we found while cleaning out the barn were First of all, three old bowling balls, a 1977 edition of the local newspaper from Springfield, Missouri, the day after Elvis died, 72 pages long. Quite a bunch of old hubcaps. Evidently, the uh, previous owner was a Chevrolet fan. Cleaning out the old barn, I found this. I was hoping maybe some of the viewers had some idea of what it was. It looks like a round handle has gone through there, but I have no idea what it's for. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Louie, come back. I'm gonna need this wheelbarrow to clean out that old barn down at the creek place, but haven't used wheelbarrow in a couple of years, so I need to air up the tire. That should do it. Cleaning out this old barn over the past few days has been pretty hard on the backs of both me and my wife. We're not used to this kind of work. I've been able to make sense out of everything else we found in this barn, but why a pile of rocks here in this middle room beyond me? It's quite possible that I have already outlived my wheelbarrow operator's license. That was not the way that was supposed to work. I'm gonna have to raise the bucket on my tractor a little bit.
I'll empty these loader buckets full of rocks on an already existing rock pile. It's not too uh, far to find one around here. I've decided that these three stalls here have to have been for horses and mules because of the height of this feeding area, this to feed hay and grain in here. But what we've decided we're gonna do with it, after we get a little bit more cleaning, is it's gonna be a place to raise the two hogs this winter. When it gets cold, it's gonna be perfect for that concrete foundations around. It'd be hog proof. Keep them warm. This next week, we're gonna fix up a runway here. So this is gonna be an easy place, hopefully, to load calves out of here in a couple of weeks. This is the kind of wooden door latch that I grew up with. You just slide over that and it's fastened. If you want to fasten it securely, you got a hasp down there. But notice how it's slanted so that vibration doesn't work this out. On this one, it's interesting to note, now again, it's about 100 years old or maybe even more. They've beveled off the edges there so they didn't hang on their overalls or snagged the harnesses as they were carrying them out to harness the horses. Uh, they were just pretty smart for what they had at that time. After a week's work, I think the inside of this old barn looks about 100% better. Uh, we found lots of neat stuff as we cleaned it out. It's a lot of work and we completely filled a 20-yard dumpster. But we've got a pretty neat barn right now. We didn't clean out this loft because the flooring in certain parts of it lacked the structural integrity to make us want to get on top of it. But we'll figure out something one of these days. It was a week of hard work to get that old barn cleaned out, but we think it's worth it. So let's call it a day. I don't believe that possum's gonna make it.